Attention. Reds could strike gold with the new expected transfer target price this window. The new Reds coach, Slot, shows great interest in the Aston Villa talisman as the bold replacement for Darwin Nunez. Hello, Liverpool fan! Welcome to another news video of the greatest club in the world. The Telegraph reports that Leeds United could sell Crescencio Somerville for £30 million this summer after failing to secure promotion to the Premier League. Leeds ultimately lost the playoff final to Southampton 1-0. And with that, they are gearing up for another year in the championship. It's something that makes it much harder to keep Somerville, who has been the standout player in the league this season. After all, Leeds won't be receiving the unexpected windfall from a Premier League promotion. The Telegraph makes it clear that they are now not in a position to turn down big offers, and Somerville has interested clubs. Chelsea is mentioned in the piece, but it notes that Liverpool has been linked to the player since the beginning of this year. And at £30 million, Somerville could be a bargain. Costing £30 million, Somerville would still be one of the most expensive sales in the league, but he's also one of the most talented players to come out of the league. On one hand, he already has Premier League experience, including a late winner at Anfield. So when you can add that to his 19 goals and 9 assists this season, you have a 22-year-old player who looks like an unmissable prospect. They generally cost much more than £30 million, and if Leeds were promoted, that number could legitimately have doubled. Now, though, Somerville looks like a steal, and Liverpool must decide quickly. We're not sure if they have room for another winger now, without selling anyone. But with Luis Diaz consistently linked to such a move, perhaps Somerville becomes a very realistic prospect. Paris Saint-Germain has shown interest in Liverpool's central defender, Ibrahima Konate as highlighted in a recent article by L'Equipe and mentioned by GetFootballNewsFrance.com. The 25-year-old French player, despite being content at Liverpool FC, is in a precarious situation, with only two years left on his current contract. This has opened up an opportunity for several European clubs, including PSG, who are in search of a versatile central defender. Liverpool has been in negotiations with Konate to renew his contract for months, hoping to reach a mutually beneficial agreement. Konate has decided to wait until the end of the Premier League season before delving deeper into these discussions. A significant meeting between the player and the club is scheduled soon, which will likely determine his immediate future. Several clubs in Europe are closely monitoring these negotiations, although PSG has not made a direct approach yet. They have shown interest through intermediaries. The French value Konate's versatility and see him as a valuable addition to their defense. Konate's contractual situation makes him attractive to clubs looking to strengthen their defenses. However, his loyalty to Liverpool and the ongoing negotiations indicate that his future may remain at Anfield unless unexpected developments occur. PSG's interest in Ibrahima Kanate highlights the growing importance of the player in European football. Despite PSG's interest, Konate's contentment at Liverpool and the club's efforts to renew his contract pose significant obstacles to any potential transfer. As the summer transfer window approaches, developments surrounding Konate will be closely watched, offering insights into Liverpool's squad strategy and PSG's ambitions. The Aston Villa forward, Ollie Watkins, is being linked to a surprising interest from Liverpool, their rival in the Premier League, as the new coach, Arnie Slot, seeks to revitalize his team. The Sun claims that the Reds' new coach is a big admirer of Watkins, whose skills in the 18-yard box have led him to lead the goal contributions in the top division in seasons 23 and 24. With alleged doubts arising about the current Reds' starter, Darwin Nunez, who hasn't scored in the last 10 games of the season, rumors have emerged about a possible move for Watkins. Analyzing Sky Sports' claim, Craig Hope of the Daily Mail explained, you can see why Liverpool would be interested. Liverpool has a long history of signing wonderful players, Mohamed Salah, the success he's had, and Sadio Mane. Even the players they've brought in more recently. The only position they've struggled in, Roberto Firmino was an excellent player, but he's a different type of player to Ollie Watkins. And since then, they've signed Darwin Nunez and his struggles are well known. He's a goal scorer, a box opportunist type of player. Ollie Watkins has 19 goals in the Premier League this season and is on track for England's selection for the Euros. Still only 28, he probably has another three or four years at his peak. I think this makes a lot of sense for what Liverpool needs. 
It's clear that Vila will fight to keep their top scorer, who is under contract until 2028. The days when Liverpool could simply snatch the English player from Villa, as they did with Christian Benteke nine years ago, are long gone. Watkins has now joined the England squad ahead of two friendlies in early June, hoping to secure a spot in Gareth Southgate's final squad of 26 players for the European Championship in Germany. What's your opinion on the possibility of Ollie Watkins transferring to Liverpool? Do you think it would be a good signing for the club? Thank you very much for watching this far. Until next time.